Uh, oh, hi, Mark. How are you today? How are things going? I'm wonderful, Bonnie. How are you? I'm good. Greetings from Toronto, Canada, where you've had a few of your films here at our festivals. <laughs> I have. We have. Yeah, I, I know. I covered most of them. So <laughs> I go, we go way back, my friend. Um, there we go. Yeah, I can't tell you how much I enjoyed Jules. I sat there watching this with Kleenex in hand. Um, it really, really got to me, um, maybe because I have an aging parent um, and dealing with a lot of these, these things, exactly what, what's going on in this film. Um, not so much having an alien in my mom's backyard, but you never know, right? So I, I wanted to ask you though, when you got this script, when it was presented to you, what you know, initially kind of touched your heart? Well, you said the right words, what touched my heart. And, and Bonnie, when we make a decision, when I make a decision to direct or even produce, it's always something that speaks to me on a personal level. And what was so unique about this screenplay was that often when we hear, when we, when we watch movies or read stories about aging and the beginning to diminish capacity, uh, they're sad. And this mm. movie, wasn't sad it no. has great humor in it and it has great emotion uh and yeah does it does it touch your heart yes it does but it also makes you laugh and makes you think and you walk out of the theater and there's something for you to really reflect upon at the same time that it's just wildly inventive so all of those things went together which don't usually go together along yeah. with science fiction and when i read it i said i've i've got to make this movie yeah, um, and your casting choices. I mean, I, I don't know if I would have thought of Ben Kingsley in this role, but my God, like after watching it, I go, I can't think of anybody better. Um, so really, like, how, did you think of him right away when you when you read this? How did that come about? Yeah, immediately. He was my first and only choice. Thank, thank goodness he said yes. <laughs> All of the actors said yes within five days of reading the screenplay. Yeah. Which is uh, yeah. rare. That's very. I, I don't rare. doubt it. Yeah, it, they made a great team, the three of them together. I I, I loved it, um, and I I also think too what what maybe touched me so much was there's so much compassion, you know, from the first minute when Ben Kingsley, um, when his character Milton discovers this thing in his backyard, and he's making that nine one one call, and they're like, and it, it's just so matter of fact. He's not freaking out. It's just like something that's happened. But then as the movie goes on, the compassion that the three of them give towards this alien, uh, honestly, like I thought they, they were going to adopt him uh, or it, whatever <laughs> it was, you know, it, honestly, Mark, I, the way that, uh, just tell me a little bit about the three of them working together and, and, and working with, with this actor who played the alien. Oh my God. Brilliant. <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm glad, Bonnie, you liked it so much because I do too. Yeah. Uh, I think the key is the fourth element that you haven't mentioned, which is the the woman that played the alien. Her name is yeah. Jade Kwan. Yeah. And uh, her, I don't want to give away too much, but uh, but I will say that uh, she she uh, doesn't say a word throughout the entire story, right. but she's the perfect listener that we all wish we we knew or had. And that's what enables everyone else to start to say things that they haven't said in years and then to begin to share with each other right. in a way that they have never done before. So she's really the secret sauce. That, along with the fact that we talked about this, we never want to play, although it's very funny, we never wanted to play the humor for a joke. Right. We wanted the, everyone to play it as real, it's funny on the page. Just let it live that way. Let the, let the circumstances and the lines live as funny. But for each of the characters, it's real. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, I, I, the Jane Curtin scene, when you let her just go and sing. Now, was that her idea? Which song? Like, was that in the script? Or tell me a little bit about the evolution of that. Because yeah. you let her do the whole song. Yeah, no, no. She actually did three songs, and one one is better. Each one is one is better than the next. Uh, we just didn't have room in the movie for all three, so uh, we had to pick the right one. And yeah, she nailed it. Oh God! So it was just it was riveting. Like I said, from beginning to end. Um, you know, it really speaks to you too about 
um, how acceptance and passion and compassion towards people, you know, like here is this being that lands in the backyard and he doesn't freak out or anything. He just kind of, a, you know, brings him, brings it into the, his home and treats him like a son, you know, but there's never, it just, to me, that was, I think a, a, a key element in this film of, of acceptance and it was beautiful. Yeah, yeah. I think I think you know that's the performances of these consummate actors. And when you have great actors like those that you've mentioned, along with Harriet Harris and mm. each of each of the performers, Zoe Winters, each of the performers are so good that as a director, what you do, I don't rehearse. Uh, I I try not to rehearse unless the actor really wants to go through a scene. I will talk about challenging scenes or important scenes. But then I try to get out of their way and let them bring in the way I put it, let them bring in what, what they're going to bring in. There's always time after we've done a take or two to be to talk about it and say, OK, can we try it a little differently? Mm. But I, you when you have great actors, you you put the script in front of them and then you get out of their way. Yeah, and, and clearly, I mean, I won an award uh, audience favorite. Um, I, I, I'm not surprised if you had had it here at TIFF, I'm sure it would have as well, because like I said, it really just strikes a chord with everyone, young and old. There's nobody who I, I don't think can relate, can't relate to this movie. Yeah, I think we've been surprised. We thought uh, when we shot, we said, well, the core audience will tend to be more mature adults. And we found that 18 year olds and 20, we tested it and it tested extremely well. And they tested across the board, all age groups, male, female, uh, it tested uh, remarkably strong. Yeah. Um, and, and what, you know, uh, Milton is going through, um, as I said, like, you know, aging, unfortunately, you know, uh, whether it's Alzheimer's or dementia or whatever it is, you have there's that conflict there as, as, you know, like I said to you earlier, I'm dealing with this with my, my mother with some things right now. And I, I, I'm just concerned for her and I, I'm looking out for her best interests, interests. Yet she's so freaking stubborn. She doesn't want that help. She doesn't, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it, yeah. it's a sense of independence and it's, it's, you know, clearly you must know people like that too, that, that are going through things like this. Yeah, I think we all have we all have friends or relatives that are going have gone through it or going through it. And and uh, what was unique about this story and what I what, what drew me to it, Bonnie, was that usually we don't see those kind of stories. Usually they're they're depressing. And this story right. wasn't depressing. It had depth. It had the emotion. You feel it. You feel Milton's uh, losing some of his faculties but you're not ground down by it. And that's the message here is to live fully uh, all through your years. And you can find meaning and friendship later in life. And that's yeah. what's so beautiful to me. 100% so agree with you. I can't, I can't recommend this film uh, enough. Uh -oh. I just loved it so much. Uh, before we go, Mark, I wanna look back at earlier in your career, of course, a movie called Little Miss Sunshine that you produced, like who knew, you know, honestly, people watch it still today and it still resonates, it's so good. But sadly, you know, we just recently lost Alan Arkin, who was one of my absolute favorite actors in the world. He was, my dad related to him so much, loved him. What was your, your fondest memory of working with Alan Arkin? Oh, that's wonderful. I, I you know, there, there were so many because, you know, we, we, we had an opportunity actually to work with him on a couple of movies. Yes. We also worked with him on Sunshine Cleaning with uh, Amy Adams and Emily yeah. Blunt. Uh, I think at one point, he, uh, I asked him, Alan, why, why did you sign on again with us after, uh, you know, why, why this, why again? And yeah. his response was uh, that I'm only interested in movies which are ensemble, in which it's not just about a star or one person. It's about a team of people pulling together. And I think that's who he was fundamentally. Yeah. He he was a character actor who could play the lead, uh, and and delightful and heartwarming and just you know he was there's there's only one only one Alan Arkin. Oh, that 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 that's for sure. Are we going to see more from you directing? Do you prefer the directing over the producing, or do you have a preference? I do. I do now at this stage. Yeah. At this stage, yeah, I'm I'm lining up my next one now. Uh, and hopefully we'll be shooting that, you know, once uh, once the strike, uh, once yeah. the strike 
backpedaled. But uh, I just, the last thing I would just want to say, Bonnie, is please, uh, I may have mentioned it before, but please, if you like the movie, tell tell folks about it. These small independent movies depend depend on word of mouth. We don't have enormous uh, marketing yeah. budgets. Uh, and now, of course, the actors can't go on the morning shows and do all the talking that they would do. So word of mouth is so important. Well, you're going to get that from me. That's for sure. I'm not shutting up about this movie. I loved it so, so oh, much. Okay. And uh, it was nice to see Ben Kingsley with some hair. Yeah, right. <laughs> in a way we've never seen him. Exactly. Mark, thank you so much for uh, all you've given us over the years and for your time and, of course, uh, for this you. film. I really appreciate it. Appreciate thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, thank you. take care. Okay, bye-bye. Yeah.